listen up, listen up, listen up. Y'all know I'm back with another video. How y'all doing? How y'all doing? How are you doing today on this lovely Sunday evening? Hope you guys are doing well. I am doing fabulous. I'm doing good, y'all. Um, if you are new to the channel, should you like the essence of today's video, I ask that you subscribe to the channel. It costs you nothing. If you are an oldie but a goodie, put it in the comments. Oldie but a goodie. And in today's video, we're going to talk about letting go. It's time to let go. Okay, oftentimes we have a tendency of holding grudges. Sometimes, oftentimes we find ourselves being mad and just holding on to fear, holding on to past hurts, holding on to disappointments, holding on to past disappointments, holding on to situations that have long gone, holding on to people, holding on to things that no longer serve us any purpose now. Stop looking at the past and take advantage of what it is now. We can't hold grudges. We cannot walk with the power that we have as women, as individuals, knowing that we've got such animosity, such hatred, such hurt, such hurt, such uh, disappointments in our heart. We can't walk forward looking backwards you ever under you ever really think about why the windshield when you're in a car and the windshield is always bigger than the back windshield do you ever think about that it's a reason why the front windshield is always bigger than the back windshield because it's in the back it's in the past for a reason it's smaller you can't change what's already happened only thing that you can do is keep forward and look forward. Keep forward. Keep pressing. Take advantage as to what's now. Letting go of fear. Letting go of what happened, of the mistakes that you made. Holding yourself hostage to your past. Your past does not define who you are. Yeah, your past has made you who you are today. Yeah, your past has allowed you to become the person that you are today, but it doesn't define you as a person who you are today. Who you are, who you were yesterday is not the same person that you are today. So you don't have to sit and allow yesterday's pain to dictate to where you're going in the future. You know, oftentimes I sit and think about how I felt when I was a teenage mama. And I don't know if you guys know this, but my son now is the age that I was when I had him. So y'all do the math. My son is 18, okay? So I was a teen mom. I was a teen mom. I was the preacher's daughter, okay? And I was not married, okay? So therefore, I had a lot of pressure on me, okay? I had to live up. I felt like I had to live up to a standard of being perfect because my dad was a pastor. He was a well-known pastor, and he still is. But because I was pregnant in the church, singing on the choir with a big old belly, I felt like I was unworthy of singing on the choir because I was pregnant. And even though I had just graduated high school, but I was still a teenager living in my parents' house, at that time and I, he's doing stuff that I had no business doing. And then I would, I, 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 ten, I was at the point where I was afraid of what the church folks would say. I was afraid of what the society would say. I was afraid that it was gonna uh, uh, mess up my dad's image. Um, I was just afraid of what church people was gonna have to say about me out here having babies and ain't married and, you know, shacking and, and doing all this type of stuff, you know. And I had to, I, I really dealt with that for a, a long, long time. I dealt with disappointment. I dealt with guilt. I felt guilty. 
But you know, one thing that my mama told me, she said, do not allow anybody in this church, any other churches that we go to, do not let anybody guilt trip you. Because if they be honest with themselves, they've got a lot of skeletons in their closet themselves. Only thing they got to do is open up the door. Everybody has a past. Everybody has gone through a lot of things in their life that they're not too proud about. Everybody has some things that they don't really want to talk about that they kind of scrape and, and throw up under the rug. Everybody does. So don't sit in and in, 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 in beat yourself up about things that you didn't do right yesterday. Because yesterday's price is not today's prices. Okay? So I encourage you, whomever this is for, let it, let it be a blessing to you. Run. Not walk, but run. Run. Okay? Fear, we're going to let that go. Disappointment, we're going to let that go. Guilt, we're going to let that go. Run, not walk, honey. God did not give us the spirit of fear, but he gave us the spirit of a sound mind. And I'm not about to sit up here and quote all these scriptures to you guys because some of you don't know the scriptures. Some of you don't know the Bible like that. And that's okay. I'm going to talk to you as if this is me and you talking one-on-one. -on -one. We're here. I'm, this is Big Sis we're talking to. I'm going to let you see the light through me. I'm going to, I'm here to help you. That's why I need you to come back. Uh, and keep watching these videos. Keep coming back watching these videos because my life is a testimony. I've got plenty stories to tell, plenty testimonies to tell. I'm here to I'm here to I'm here basically trying to tell you that if God did it for me, then I know he can do it for you. So that's what's going to draw those who don't know the scriptures. That's what's going to draw them closer to want to know more about God through my testimonies. Then I'm here. You get what I'm saying? So, yeah, you, I mean, for those of you who are too saved, you're just too saved and nobody can't talk to you, have a regular conversation, which I'm not talking to you. I'm talking to the ones who, who wouldn't step foot in the church. That's who I'm talking to. I'm talking to the ones who have been hurt by church folk, who may have been raised in the church, who have been gone to church for a few times, but it's nothing like church hurt. So I'm talking to the ones who have been hurt before. I'm talking to the ones who, who, like I said, would never probably step foot in the church again because of that same reason, because of, of, of church folk having so much to say, because of those holier than thou people. Honey, everybody got a pass, okay? We're going to keep it real. We're going to keep it real over here. Everybody got a pass. Let go of the past, you know, people are dying left and right. People are dying left and right. And if there's anything that you have done to somebody and you know that you wronged a person, go to the person and apologize to them. Because you're only going to hinder your blessing. If it's somebody that's hurt you in the past and you don't know where they are, let it go. Don't let it go for them, but let it go for yourself. So that you can walk clearly with a clear mind. So that you can walk and go forward with a clear spirit. If anybody has ever wronged you, let it go. Let it go. Take advantage of what's now. Don't allow your past to dictate to where you're going. Because you are not who they said that you were going to be. They said that you would never amount to anything. But look at you now. Look at you. Look how far God has brought you from. And I know if he did it for me, he can do it for you. And if he did it for you, he can do it for the next person. Okay, so this is big sis. It's tight, but it's right. Okay, so I'm here to encourage you. I'm here to motivate you. I'm here to inspire you. Okay, that we're no longer living in fear, in our past fears. We're no, no, we're no longer living in guilt. We're no longer living in disappointment. The, the ex-boyfriend or the, the ex-marriage or the ex-wife that wronged you, forgive them. Forgive them. It's okay because that, that, that doesn't, that, that's only going to, if you hold that grudge, that's only going to stop you. That's gonna, only going to stunt your growth. And you want to grow, right? You want to be, be better, be a better person, right? Yeah, of course. Of course you do. I know you do. So you've got to let it go. Let it go. Let it go. Okay? 
Take a deep breath, close your eyes, and ask God to say, God, I am here, and I need you to help me let this past hurt go. Let this past guilt go. Let whatever pain that I'm feeling for this particular person, let it go. Whatever they have, how, however they have wronged me, God, I ask that you help me to let it go. Repeat after those, repeat those words. Keep saying it over and over in your mind. Let it go. Like uh, Elsa, uh, what the little girl, the little, the little uh, mermaid, uh, the little, uh, I think it's Elsa. Let it go. Let it go. Yeah, we got to let it go, girl. Let it go. Move on. Because our future is bright. You got a bright future. And you don't want to let nothing, I mean nothing, stand in the way of where you're going. Because where you're going is bright. Uh-huh. The sun is shining. It's bright. Okay? It's bright. Back there is dark. It's dark back there. Don't let that darkness fool you. Don't let it fool you. Run. Run, Forrest. Run. Y'all know how Jenny told Forrest, run, Forrest, run. Run to your future. Take advantage of what's now, what's to come, not what, what was, not what was, okay? I love you guys with the love of Christ. I hope this message has blessed you or whomever needs to hear this. Share the video, share the video, uh, like, comment, and subscribe, and y'all come back for some more because I got the tea, girl. It's hot, it's hot, it's hot off the press. I got some tea. I got some tea to drop for you now. Y'all got to keep coming back because sis is about to lay it on you. And I'm going to lay it on thick. It's going to be real thick up in the building, okay? Spitting all out the mouth and everything. <laughs> yes, big sis is in the building. Put it in the comments right now. Sis, you in the house. Sis, you in the house. Put the house, put the praying hands, or put the house in the comments. If y'all, if you made it this far in the video, put the house uh, emoji in the, in the comment section. Say, sis, you in the house. If you made it this far. And if you made it this far, you a real one. You a real one. I love you. Ain't nothing you can do about it. It's nothing you can do about it. All right, until next video, and whenever that may be, I will see y'all again. Bye.